I'm her mother and she'll do what I say. I think I'm going to send her away. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next part of Troublemaker on episode. I can't believe it. After everything I've been through, lies, betrayal, kidnapping, Brody and I are finally together. We're in love and the world is trying to take that away. I am so screwed. Mom, please listen, you don't understand. I don't understand? Of course I don't understand why my daughter thinks she can do whatever she wants. It's not like that at all. Please, Miss Indigo, listen. Why? So you can feed me another one of your lies. Brody didn't lie. I promise I can explain everything. I don't want to hear it. Oh no, not her. Get out of here, Ellis. Why are you doing this, Ellis? Why won't you stop? I'm not the one who's a boyfriend stealer. No, she isn't. Miss Indigo, Yami has been terrible. Look, Ellis, I'm sorry that I didn't do anything when Principal Anderson was yelling at you, but this isn't about Ellis. This is about you and all of the things you think you can do. Why, Ellis? You were my friend. I wish you could have stayed that way. Please, Miss Indigo. I promise that if we just sit down and talk about this, it will all make sense. Sitting down and talking is for adults. You are not an adult, Brody Kaysen. Mom, don't. See, he's terrible. Do you really want to push me? Brody, you're a monster. Ugh. Go home, Brody. She won't let me explain. I know, but acting like an idiot and threatening my mom is not the way to make this right. This isn't over. I can't believe you would throw away your friendship for that. What happened to you, Yami? As I walked up to my room, my mum made it clear that I would be grounded until after college. And probably a few years later. And the worst part is, she wouldn't even give me a chance to explain. Paris, I can't believe you thought you could just go to Paris. There was more to it than that. You're in high school, Yami. You don't do something like that. You don't understand. You're right, I don't. Because you don't want to understand. Ellis told me everything. How is that fair? You just believe her without even listening to me? Did you leave the country? Is that a lie? See, if that's true, then all of the crazy has to be true. I can't believe you'd be so selfish, so reckless. You're not gonna listen to me. Then why should I even bother? Fine, you want to talk so much, talk. Yes, let's talk to her, let's tell her the truth. Come downstairs. Okay, let's do this. So I sat at the beginning, Mr. Jacobson's class, Brody, all of it. How my date to the dance with Isaac was crazy. Tyler breaking up with Ellis. Brody and Ellis dating, me and Tyler dating, and the kiss that brought the attention of, but yeah. Brody's dad's investors got mad he spent so much money. I don't know if I should tell her about Brody's kidnappers just yet. What if they ever come back? All I'm hearing is a sad story about a girl who fell hard for the wrong boy. Can't you see how complicated this is? Honey, please. Maybe we should just go easy on her. No, I will not let her run wild. Maybe. Maybe you could just talk with Brody's parents. What the heck do they have to do with anything? Please. I feel like you've made up your mind. Well. Ellis made a very compelling argument. If you're not gonna listen to me, then what's the point? The point is you're being a disrespectful brat. Honey. No, don't honey me. She's out of control. She didn't plan this. It's clear that Yami didn't mean for any of this to go this far. No, don't feel sorry for her. She made choices. She could have told me. Don't you remember being that age? I bet you didn't tell your parents everything. This is different, Jeff, is it? She went to Paris. She's fallen in love with a thug who's got unlimited means. How do I fight that? Who says you should? I do. I'm her mother and she'll do what I say. I think I'm going to send her away. To where? Costa Nakers Academy. It's the same place they sent her ex-boyfriend, Elliot, after his troubles. The super strict prep school? Maybe it's just what she needs. I laid awake all night staring at the ceiling. Over and over again, I could hear footsteps outside my room. It had to be my mom. She doesn't even trust me to sleep anymore. I wish I could be cool. I wish I could see Brody's face. Gosh, this is like the only time I've ever been excited for school. You don't have to watch Watch me walk the whole way, you know. Don't I? I'm not a little kid. You want to be grown up? Start acting like it. Take some responsibility. I'm trying. Not hard enough. Hi, Miss Indigo. Amy, Amy, Amy. I'm so sorry Yami pulled you into a web of lies. What? It's nothing. She's crazy. See? Walking into school with Amy. I'll pick you up right after school. You better be here. Love you too, pal. Bye, Miss Indigo. Hey. Hey. Survive the night? Barely. She is not happy. Yeah. Listen. I didn't know Ellis. I don't want to think about her. She's dead to me. That's probably for the best. For now, anyway. What does that mean? Hey, I can hope my two best friends will be best friends again. Can't I? Don't hold your breath. Sure. Hey. 
So I really feel sorry about everything and I kind of sort of wanted to make it up to you. What do you mean? Come on, I don't think I can handle another surprise. Amy, what are you dragging me over here for? Listen, I feel terrible about everything that happened and that I wasn't able to stop it. You know it's not your fault. Well, I still feel bad, so I thought I would do something to help. <laughs> what does that mean? I set up a special student council meeting for first period. The whole student council? No, just you and Brody. Hey, love cake. I'll leave you two alone. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Don't mention it, literally. Don't worry. We won't. Hey, baby. Hey, yourself. Oh my gosh, the kissing. Always kissing. Oh my gosh, Brody. Everything is such a mess. Don't worry, we'll make everything better. How though? My mom knows everything. Well, just about anyway. And you threatened her. I know, I know. Look, I am trying to be a better guy, but that doesn't mean I'll always be. Me too. Do you really think we can fix this? Do you really think we can be together? I do, more than anything. So, where do we start then? I want to give you something. Come on. Brody, we can't just leave. Doing this kind of stuff is what got us in trouble in the first place. And it's what made me love you. Come on, love cake. Amy is covering for us. I promise it'll be quick. I don't know. Trust me, I promise. All that ugly mess is going to be behind us soon. I'm gonna make things right. But how? Don't worry, you'll see. Now, let's go. Am I really going through with this? I know I have to follow my heart. Wait up, Brody. It's funny how everything, the stress, the mess, the worry, all of it melts away when I'm with Brody. I remember when I wrapped my arms around his waist and held on as we rode his bike down the same streets. But this time, this time it feels different. My world has been a mess since coming home from Paris. But in this moment, in this moment, everything feels right. Wow. I thought you might be taking me shopping, but this? Brody, seriously, where are we? You're one of a kind, so I want to give you something that's one of a kind. You don't mean... Couture. I meant to do the same thing in Paris, but I got a little tied up. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. Wait a second. Did you take me to see my favorite fashionista? Fabrizio. You old so-and-so, get out of here. Brody, this is your muse. Yami, this is Vivian Lefleur. Hold the phone. Vivian Lefleur, the fashion designer? That Vivian Lafleur? Amongst other things, that would be me. You did J-Law's Oscar dress and Kendrick's VMA outfit. Some of my best work. This one has an eye for fashion, Brody. And I've got an eye for her. What would you like, my dear? Give her the best you've got. Spare no expense. Brody, this is too much. Nothing is too much for you. Have fun. Come on, dear. Let's do this. All right. I'm ready. I want something that sets me apart. I used to be so invisible, but now? Give me something edgy. Or have you got anything memorable? Yes, we want that one. Here, darling. Try one of my personal designs. Ooh, that is cute. I can see why Brody likes you so much. You got a model for me. Okay, that one's real cute, but let's try the other one too. I'll give the other one a once over. I want something that sets me apart. Okay, yes. Oh, hmm. I mean, Mm, just looks normal. Okay, let's go with the other one because that was the cutest. Yes! Please, please, please! I'm speechless! You don't need words, love. You are walking beauty in its truest form. How can I ever thank you for such a gift? Be you. Your grace is coming through. All of the splendor you exude from your heart. Thank you. But I gotta say, I'm exuding a little bit of splendor from my booty right now. That you are, my darling. That you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. And tell Brody he can bring you by anytime. Really? Of course. I would love to dress you again, my little doll. Try and keep me away. Yummy, we should probably get... What is it? You look amazing. I feel amazing. Good. That's all I ever wanted. Let's go. I can't wait to see all their faces. Thank you, Vivian. Oh, it's a pleasure. Some of my best work. Who was that? Did you finish rolling all the fabric? Fabrizio does not fold or roll. Fabrizio is a terrible intern then. Yes, madame. For now. I don't know if I can face everyone. Now I'm here. Don't be silly, love cake. Everyone knows you belong to me and I belong to you. That's all that matters. You got that right. Look who it is, Tyler. You guys are a thing. Don't act so surprised. What are you even wearing? Do you think just because you went to Paris you're better than us? Of course not. This isn't even from Paris. I bet it's from the mall. Close. Uh, it would be if Vivian Lafleur had a shop at the mall. Are you freaking kidding me? Vivian Lafleur? Can't you tell? Well... Tyler is going to buy me a Vivian Lafleur, so whatever. I am? You are. Tyler wishes he had that kind of money. How much is this going to cost? A lot. I'm glad to see the two of you so happy together. Jealous? Nope, but seriously. 
I am glad. You're jealous. If you're happy, that's great. I'm happy too. Yes, we are. Yeah, right. I heard about what happened. Your mom is going to tear Brody away from you. We'll see. Tell her, Tyler. Tell her that everything is going to be terrible. Maybe we should go. Leaving so soon? I thought you two were gonna rub your love in our faces. Shut up. Whatever. You guys do whatever you want. I could care less. Whatever. Why can't you just act like a normal person and be jealous? I really do hope you guys are happy. At least... Tyler, anyway. You're the worst. This isn't over. Weird. We should probably get to class. Coming? I have a few things to do, so I'll catch up with you later. Don't be long. I think school is the only place I get to see you now. Yeah, see you soon, love cake. Until I see you again. That was kind of weird. Not gonna lie. School was awesome. Everyone seemed to know about me and Brody. And I felt like royalty. People were getting out of my way as I walked down the hall. And everyone knew my name. In fact, I was in such a good mood that I never saw it coming. You have to go, Yami. Look who decided to show her ugly face at school. I tried to stop her. You can't stop me. No one can. Not until I ruin your life. Why are you doing this, Ellis? You tried to ruin my life? I'm doing the same. How? Our friendship went to poop when you started dating Brody after I tried to help you. You know that feeling you had today? The feeling when you got when everybody looked at you because of Brody? It'll go away as soon as he decides when he's done with you. I think I'm done with you. What are you gonna do about it? We are not gonna fight her, that would make things worse. That's too bad, because I am. Oh, what the heck is wrong with you? Me? I'm not the friggin' psycho girl. Ellis, all Yami did was try to help you. Aim. I didn't. You did. You made the choice to keep pushing. It's over. Just let it go. I'm sorry. Both of you. Amy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Do whatever you want. This is insane. You're insane. Just tell me why. Why do you do all this? Because... I don't have to explain myself to you. Brody and I are together, Ellis. It's a fact. Like, the sky is blue. You think I don't know that? I think you're trying to take it away, and I want to know why. Just enjoy being special. What do you want? I see you and Ellis aren't getting along, which is surprising. She's so easy to get along with. How would you know? It's so simple with her. Make a little suggestion, and pretty soon, she's doing whatever you want. Like telling your mum everything. What do you know about that? Me? Why not ask your boyfriend? Oh, that's right. He hasn't been seen since this morning. What do you mean? Brody left school hours ago, and hi here, he's not coming back. So there we have it, guys. This was the end of today's part of Troublemaker on episode. If you did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one.